Hi, this is Christina Rodriguez from Diva by Design Interiors and today is Feng Shui Friday and I'm going to talk about the principles of Feng Shui and also a little bit about the principles of design because they kind of go together and you'll see how in a minute. Okay, so let's start with the principles of design. These can be applied to interior design, art, graphic design, basically any kind of design that you can think of these are the basic principles of them. And they these principles evolved from observing nature. And there are six principles. Proportion, scale, balance, rhythm, emphasis, and harmony. And my opinion is that the two most important are balance and harmony. And, which is a good thing, because they go along with feng shui. It's how you can combine the two in your home. The goal of feng shui is balance and harmony in your life and your home, in both, between how your home supports your life. And in feng shui, there are two opposing forces, and they are called yin and yang, and you know, you've all heard of them. Um, and you've seen the symbol, the round symbol with the black and the white. And what that symbol is an egg and it it shows an egg with the white and the yolk separated and the black is negative the white is positive and you'll see that inside the black the negative there's a little circle of white which is the positive and the same goes for the side that is white there's a little circle of black and that's the negative so there's always a little bit of negative inside the positive and vice versa. And that is yin and yang. And together they make a whole which is balanced. And that principle in feng shui is tao. It's spelled T-A-O. And it's also is called the way. And like I said, it makes a whole which is balanced. And... If you add chi, which is energy, or the life breath of the universe, it's always moving in and around everything, uh, you get yin and yang, which is balance. So you achieve harmony and balance, which I forgot to tell you, Tao is also heavenly and earthly harmony. So that might make a little bit more sense. <laughs> I'm reading off my notes. It's a little hard to get it, get you there. But when we do interior design, when we do your, including your decorating, uh, what we're trying to achieve as interior designers is balance and harmony so that you feel comfortable, you feel supported, you feel, you feel good in the space that you live in, that you spend a lot of time in. And so when the two opposing forces of negativity and positivity are combined, they symbolize perfect harmony. And that's really something that is very important in your home, uh, in your life, it makes things a lot easier. And we'll talk more about the principles of design. I'll talk more about feng shui. But that's basically what I wanted to talk to you about today. And I thank you for being here with me, and I will see you next Friday. Have a good weekend, and I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about, but it'll be something feng shui, something design. It'll be both. Harmony. So, bye.